I don't consider myself to be a jeweler by any stretch of the imagination. Like, I have no interest in setting stones or, you know, making eternity bands or anything like that. People, you say, oh, what do you do? And they're like, oh, I'm an artist or, you know, whatever. And I'm always just like, I make shit. You know, whatever. I make lots of shit. And my grandmother on my mom's side was really, like, made every, you know, she did embroidery and she knit and crocheted and sewed. And I told her I wanted to learn how to use a sewing machine. She said, all right, well, let's make a dress. And she said, but you're going to learn how to do everything when you make this dress. You know, it was all lined and interfaced and insane. So I'm eight years old and she made me do the whole thing. When I was in high school, we moved for two years to Illinois. My dad got a transfer, you know how they do that. Lake Forest at the time was like the 12th wealthiest suburb in the country and you know like being from Boston you're totally a Yankee. No one talks about how much money they have or how much it costs, you know, there's just no one cares. Like my first day of school was this really fancy brand new building, it was crazy and there was this parking lot full of like Jaguars and Mercedes and brand new Jeeps and I remember I said to this kid who lived across the street from me, I was like wow, these teachers must make a lot of money. They're like, oh, that's the student parking lot. And the stuff in the thrift shops there was amazing because they were so rich. Um, and no one wanted it. Everyone had Calvin Klein jeans, everyone wore boots, and everyone wore like really tight shirts. And I was like, God, every day is so boring. I had these um, <laughs> wicked high pumps, round toe with an ankle strap that I used to wear like every day. And they were fuchsia spandex jeans, you know, like they have at American Calvin with the pockets and everything. And this huge purple Fruit of the Loom shirt, you know, like you like tie it on the side. And then, like I had red sunglasses. And I forget, like I had a bunch of jewelry, I don't even know. I used to make a lot of shit out of plastic. I've collected and made bracelets since I was a little kid. I started buying silver, in probably third grade, I started buying like little charms and little bracelets. And then, like this was my grandmother's, I think it's Moroccan. These are Bass Ludiker, who's an old friend of mine. I don't know what happened to him now. This I bought in seventh grade. It's like, at the time, was like a modern squash blossom, because these are squash blossom beads. So this was like, probably, oh my god, 76. These are really cool. This friend of mine, when I had my old store, he was doing construction, and he came to me one day with this really old brown bag, and he was like, oh, I have some shit you might want to buy. And I poured it all out, and it was a huge pile of really, really old Native American jewelry. Amazing stuff, probably from like the late 1800s, early 1900s. And I was like, well, how much do you want for this stuff? And he was like, I don't know, 50 bucks. It definitely starts conversations. Like people always ask me about my bracelets because I pretty much, I never take them off. So finally I weighed all my bracelets one time so now I can say yes, three pounds. This friend of mine got this from Sri Lanka, this topaz. I had it for like 10 years before I did anything with it, and I want. I decided I was going to make the biggest prong set ring that could be made. I'm sure this isn't, but it's pretty big. And this is Vivian Westwood that I bought literally 20 years ago. A lot of her stuff is tricky for me. Like it's very, you know, tailored and lady, but I love it. I think it's really fun and cute. I don't know, lately, there's no clothes that I like. So I like have to fuck with a lot of stuff. I went to Agatha and I said, I want flag pants. And I wanted them super long. She was making stuff that was more like this that was skinny, but I wanted it to like cover my shoes. I drew these bloomers that I wanted because they didn't exist. We went and we bought the fabric and there's like, it's chiffon over this um, charmeuse and this beautiful French lace. Anyways, they are exactly what I drew, and I don't like stuff that goes up to your waist. I can't stand high-waisted. We have a house in Vermont, and I sat outside on the deck all summer and just like fucking sewed. I didn't know I was gonna, like, this was gonna happen. It just kind of kept happening. My ex-husband was like, oh, the coat of many colors. I was like, don't you ever fucking say that. And see, it has, I did my little Warner Workstead initials on the back. I graduated, I took basically everything that I made the entire time I was in school, put it in a suitcase and came to New York. I had no money to start a new business, I mean, I, I had, I mean, I had all the tools, I had all the equipment, but I, I had nothing. I decided there's three, I'm going to work for Christian Lacroix, Chanel, or Karl Lagerfeld. So I sent out three resumes, like, I don't know what I was thinking. So then I laid on the couch and cried for six months, and I was like, what am I going to do? So. 
I get this call one day, and this guy's like, oh, this is blah, blah, blah. I'm calling from Carl Lagerfeld. And I was like, fuck you. I was like, who is this? I got the job, and it was amazing. I went through every sketchbook that I ever had in my entire life and made everything I ever thought of in my entire life in those five years. And it was almost like five years to the day, I remember sitting at my desk and going like, I fucking hate this now. This sucks. It's funny, I was walking down the street one day with my mom about eight years ago in New York City, and she said to me, how can you stand it? And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, everybody looks at you because of what you're wearing. And I was like, well, so? I think people are frightened, you know? People are scared to express themselves, and I think a lot of people don't know how. You know, they don't even know. They're not exposed, or they don't care, or... You know, like all those shows, those middle-aged women, and they're like wearing sweatpants. And then they get really, you know, they're like, oh, I don't care, and then they get really excited. Getting dressed, honestly, is... can be as creative as making anything else. Like, you're making something that you're gonna display. And I say that, you know, painting or working in my studio are when I can be the most at peace.